Yeah, MIBR are going to open up over on the T side of things. Right away for Heroic, they go for this mid control, even landing the jump up on Nerds. Going to see him deal with that first man in. It all kind of grinds to a halt now that they've spotted these players over in heaven. How does Exit want to get the boys to respond to this? They go and they take Jag, and it looks like they want to still follow through with what was called out of the spawn, which was this B play. They're trying to bait right now into uh, into Waro. Ooh, gets away with one. Waro 2k. Can he find Insani in at the back of Jag? Shots exchanged, but no one gets out any better right now. That bomb is out in no man's land for MIBR. This is a very awkward start to the pistol, but they dealt with kicks out. It's just Waro left to beat, and they will overrun him. Tess says... Now it's his time to shine. He's got Shush moving in to try and join him at MIBR. They feign the idea that they're going back, but do they want to commit to that decision? Because Tess says his oh, reposition no. to try and deal with this, and he catches safe, moving on in. Through that mid drop-off, they get past with two at least, but Insani and Exit have got to do some heavy lifting here. Frank is really quick, but they're not considering it right now, just trying to cover the plant. Does catch Shush on that backstab and exit locked in a corner. He needs a kill here. Insani is so low right now, but he can't connect. A headshot leaving Insani, the star of the squad, inside of the site with a 1v2 and no help to do it with. Quick shot, but Tessis jumps over the box and it's going to come through for Heroic. But you imagine when he's a standard, he's not IGLing and he's kind of here. They say to him, get one kill around, Moro. If you can do that, we can do the rest. So I want to see what he's capable of in that sort of environment. I think he's able to get more than one yeah. kill around. And I think for MIBR, we touched upon how they've been together a while now. I want to see them really push Heroic and potentially even beat them, considering this is a wounded Heroic yeah. squad. The perfect time to get an upset like this in a play-in, especially considering the recent relatively disappointing results uh, for this squad. Yeah, I mean, even when you look at who's in it, like, you have two x Furia players, safe and drop, both there. You have someone that Fury would have loved back in the day, and Insani is meant to be, you know, the the big hot prospect out of Brazil. You have Exit, who's built up to be a, a capable leader. And you have Breno, X MIBR Academy player, someone who's been getting a lot of reps in. So you certainly have the, the pieces, and you've seen big games from pretty much all these individuals in the server at different points in time. But they have hit a bit of a, a flat streak right now, has MIBR. But I think the biggest wound is just the lack of chemistry between Warren and the players. I don't, I certainly don't doubt Warren's individual level. The fact that he's been able to do, wow, what he's done with, uh, you know, the, the shackles of leadership at the same time is impressive enough. So we'll see what he can do when he's off the leash today. Recovering from this three on five right now at MIBR, running back through the Molotov drop, trying to escape death. Two players here, he'll take the better equipped of the two. Kix is gonna attempt to trade, but jumps a little bit too early as they snuck through that ramp smoke, leaving just nerds in middle, and, and Sani is considering this. He might just have the perfect timing to backstab his climb. There it is. And Sani really is a talent. He's definitely someone to keep an eye on in this game, especially if Heroic will be playing a little bit looser. Double molly, I like it. In front of the Insta as well, making sure no one's playing that mid spawn. And if they do, they will not survive it. Drop coming from heaven as well. It might be our delayed mid take. Heroic will respect it. Even getting smoked off, they lose a lot of info. Oh, really well done from Breno. He dealt with the double push down through B ramp, and so Whoa. that's a tremendous amount of pressure Who's put on early. That? Insani awaits the boost and spams them both out, so it's just Tessa's left standing. MIBR, very commanding first rifle round put wow. forward here. There's uh, barely even damage done from the side of Heroic, because it's a flawless first rifle for MIBR. That's a bit of a disaster. You, you were really, you had your fingers it's crossed. Case. Please, Insani, just be having a bad day if you're heroic. And he's not. You'll remember when he kind of exploded on.
to this scene. It was his Katowice debut. I didn't even think he'd been at LAN before. Yeah, it's true. And uh, he was he was mind blowing. And then you've seen you know hits and misses from the guy, but you know what he's capable of because of the debut he gave us. Oh yeah, at the challenge that they won in Australia, he was a monster, like a 1.4 rating on that LAN event. Insani again, entry into the B-bomb side. We've got a long plan coming in, so you can't stop it from the cave. Heroic getting some spam damage, but look at the assault of utility. Double molly in the cave. Cower in the corner. Roast some marshmallows. Tessas even ticks it. And Heroic are just setting up to save right now. That's not even guaranteed. Exit yet to frag. Hasn't needed to put them in their place. And that kill, even now, will not entice you back in. Do they want Tessa to try and sneak in last second? It doesn't matter what you want. Insani is what you get. 11 and 2 on the young gun. No, it should put him to bed here. But it's a commiseration, consolation exit frag. 6-1 to MIBR. He's left Monty recently, right? Like, he's already looking for a new team. This is a chance for him to kind of advertise himself, if not to Heroic, you know, to, to anyone. Uh, I think being, you know, being mouthy would not help his cause. So I don't think we're going to see any of that today. It's in his best interest to... Where, yeah, where did that gun go? They sh uh, It, like, flew up in the air when they shot it. J-Raz would find it. Can MC. Yes, it's found. Kicks and qu can quickly. Don't worry. No task. Heroic. A five on four. A chance. Yeah, this is arguably the best spot they've been in. Might not have had the firepower coming into this, but one of these M4s Ooh. finds its way over towards Donut. Won't get anything done. Waro Ouch. 2K. Can't muster up a kill on that 5-7, and Nerd's only getting one. The window of opportunity in this round is starting to close for Heroic. They work hard for that opening kill, but even then, like, even though you get it, and you find that early pick on a Breno over towards B, you get the info that comes with it, that three players have just pushed onto the lane. And so that means that Heroic are going to be weaker elsewhere. There are going to be gaps. And MIBR, they respond to it very, very quickly. A big kill for Kixan to pick up. Leaves Heroic in with a chance here. Tessez doesn't want to grab that M4 yet. He strikes with the element of surprise first. And now trades out onto the rifle. Safe. Going to have to do this alone. One from CT, one through Donut, and that first shot missing. That could be the disaster. Kicksan wraps around through the temple. And so a big round for Kicksan there on the heroic side. Double Molly expecting something faster towards middle. They're going to get it, but this time from heaven, safe. Oh, the nade absolutely brutalized him. Slowed him down on that repeat. Warrior hits his close ramp. And is able to escape, forcing MIBR out into the A site. This is already their plan. They're just going a little bit earlier. There's no one here right now. The further they get without throwing any nades, all the better for them, but there's too many angles to cross. They're going to drop double smokes and try and plant that bomb. Go on, Shush. This is a great move. Worth, worth trying. And gets out with his kill. Gets out with what he had to. And now that Orpa Waro looks to move in. Can't quite deal with Insani, but Nerds will do. Successful little smoke push, a repeat of what Shush offered up to open up that retake. Warrior on the cross, flashed off. Well placed by MIBR, who get towards the top of middle. Oh, Nerds is trapped. Oh, he's really trying to force that fight. It's actually safe to pick Warrior at the same time. Shush, they won't be ready for this. Surely they won't be ready for this. Up close, grabs one, orb trades through the wall. No one's missing a beat right now for MIBR. They are on fire. Four on two. In no hurry to commit. I mean, it's been Breno's goal in every one of these rounds to try and work the B control, even when the play is to end up A. Ooh. If he can kind of real kick Sand in a little bit here, that's going to go a, a long way in making this easier for MIBR, because now they get See the ya. info. Tess says has rotated around to A, and that bomb can be picked up by safe back in Donut for the fast rotate away. Oh, Tess says chasing nice. down that final man back in main. 
But he is very, very far away from a retake here, and he's going to have to get past a, a B site that has been falling for a long while. You don't know where Breno could have got to. He's waiting around in the red room, and Satesez will have to clear this. He's got to win this fight. He's got to really keep his wits about him here, and he'd already kind of mentally decided that angle was clear. Spots Breno just too late. And so I, I am liking the, the, the B lurks that Breno's giving us right now for MIBR. To answer MIBI, it's a very weak in middle here for Herog. They just throw the nades and try and send a bit of a ruse as they group on B. Orb deep, boosted. How does Safe get that kill? War is gone. Kixon's stuck in the site. They come flying through with a flashbang. It does blind them. And so Kixon's able to get away with two. Tessa's inside of the smoke. Oh, and that's a dominant response for Heroic. Stacked up in B. The pick welcomes them in to the trap. There's even a flank coming in for, for Shush. He doesn't even have to commit on this, right? He can kind of get up towards Jag and then really take his time once they get the info. And he's not even needed. Nerds makes quick work of that lone player for MIBR. Let's see if Waro can assert himself onto this final round. He's got another AWP. He's held a lot of angles and had trouble with Safe, who's definitely won the head to head. Again, looking for the mid pick after the flash, he's going to get smoked. Oh, there's the aggression we wanted. Tessa's just walking through that B smoke, finding two kills. And that's a real victory moment for Heroic. Breno and Drop as this tag team have been so annoying to deal with later in the round on these B lurks. So you didn't just find Breno, you didn't just find Drop. What about both of them? Now you know that that whole B side of the map is contained for the time being. Oh, right now it's just Tessa's on his own. Oh, crazy oh, opener for Insania. They're ready for kicks out up close. Safe is. Quick work made of the B player. Three on five, back to a two on two. Plant in now. Shush and Waro, a little delayed on the rotate over, but they will get here just as that bomb gets planted. They blow the smoke <laughs> open. Safe from Waro, trade blows. It's Waro versus Exit. And Exit with just one kill to his name. This would be worth a hell of a lot for a two-kill match. Exit finds them. That magic number eight denies that streak that Heroic were trying to embark on right down the tail end of the half. Kit here would save you a lot of stress. You could have looked to smoke that bomb, apply a lot of pressure. Instead, you need to win the gunfights now. You've got to thin the herd. 5v5, no kit retake of the A site is an enviable position. That one smoke has been put to work to try and lock oh out of Donut. Dear. But here's the backstab in for Tessez, wow. and now everyone else just barrels through I'm that Donut smoke. <laughs> and his attempt to get out through the mid-smoke. No easy feat. And they actually support Flash from A. Safe lobs that in. They run through the Donut smoke. They don't see him. So right now Heroku just trading contact in middle. This is all a ruse, a distraction for the A players. And they have completely fallen for it. Double donor. Now safe coming back. Don't think he's going to be ready for three players this close. Nate will make it clear. Oh, he doesn't get the molly out. Quick switch back to the Molotov. They're crossing in already close in front of main. And safe is stuck behind the boxes. Bit of support with that smoke in the way. Safe moves around it, trying to find another 1v1 in this site. Nerds recovers his shot. Moro will fall on the bomb with it. Playing for Tessez is nerds, but he doesn't need help right now. He's killing everyone. On for the ace. Caught in a reload. Tessez in the clutch. I mean, Tessez just moments ago was all the way over at the B doors. MIBR have not seen him. They do not know where he is. Breno takes the reposition out through spawn. Bomb has been picked up for Tessas. 30 seconds left. Is he really going to call the bluff and go all the way around? <laughs> right as Breno is about to get the info that that bomb's been picked up. Tessas makes his move, nice. and it's the B site. That's what he set his eyes on here. Breno's read it. He started to move over, but he still doesn't have a kit. He's still not going to beat the plant. The only benefit of this is he'll hear him. So now he can be right there as Tessas gets off of the bomb. That. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to be ready. Gun out. Tessas goes for the swing, and he hits the headshot. Great reaction from Tessas, aware. He still gets to decide what plays he wants to make in the starts of these rounds. You saw him constantly switching between A and B in the first half. Never in the same place twice, it felt like. 
And so if he can provide you something, and then you've got the rest of the gang bolstering that. Safe up close, oh, his nice all only good for the first, as Tess says. Tess is so reliable, man. He he just did a perfect jump, countered the strafe mid-air, and forced Safe to miss. If he commits with that jump, Safe kills him. Oh, but the flank is quick. Yeah, the Insani backstab. That's really complicated matters here. Heroic, they've done well to tie this game up after how it started. But they might not be destined to take the lead just yet, unless Waro has got a trick up his sleeve. He can't find Insani, who comes in big on the backstab. So right now, this one really feel like a, a matchup, a kind of the, the star riflers. It's very much been Insani versus Nerds in some of these high pressure moments. And they've loved a bit of an A play thus far. They've really got MIBR worried about these mid to A's, if not A rushes. There we oh, go. And Waro. this is where Waro looks to bring his own spin to the round. Aggro move over towards Cave, and they've not seen that yet. It's a huge entry. Look at what it's done to the map. They've had to abandon middle. They're rotating three players on that B bomb site right now. And his exit gets further away. The, the only way this one got weird or interesting is if they found Nerds ahead of time. But instead, he's allowed yeah. to go super deep on this push through A. Couldn't have a better position if he tried. So, I mean, they're going to save. The second the bomb goes down, they're cooling it off. And even then, Tess is orping lane. So there's not even the guarantee here. I wonder if he heard that tag. It won't matter anyway. They are not considering this round. What a great play. That was, that was Heroic's game plan the whole time. You know, they're throwing a BX egg with four. The bomb is on ramp. But uh, if Nerds dies there, they just commit with the B hit. If he finds a space, they get to rotate or they get to wait for him to flank. Tessa's, uh, War is watching as Tessa is trying to lose his off at the end yeah. of the round. So just had to go get that bag. The lead taken for Heroic, yeah. and that was after this game. He had started 6-1 down for the Heroic squad. There was nothing going right, and slowly but surely, activations of Tessa's. And in they go. Drop burning alive. He wanted them to face him. He wanted to try and take as many as he could Ooh, out nice. of the round. Breno making plays on the back of these flashbangs. Has got Insani moved around to join him, but there's that Warrow Warp firing off. What a horrible position to be. He got double mollied, HE'd, and then shot by the Orb. Like, couldn't get worse if it tried. That is a missed shot, though, for Warrow. Safe gets around here first. That Shush is not out yet. That's very easily done for Safe on the AWP. Kicksand's going to be the next one. Around the corner, missed shot from that orb. Plant allowed for Heroic. It's going to come down to a retake. And if Heroic pick this up, this is starting to quickly get away from MIBR. They battle back three on three at the attempt at the fast B. But they've carved the path out in the late A take. Exit whittled down back in the spawn. Insani on the backstab. He has saved rounds from yeah. this position before. Four, but not anymore as Waro 2K stands and delivers for Heroic. Three kills in the round. He's starting to find his voice now too. Yeah, best round yet for Waro. Fantastic work, read it well, flashy, changing position, just getting those repeaks off and nailing every shot. Because when I, when I, wow, that's a good shot. When I think Waro, I don't think about missing. That's the thing, like when he's going for these confident repeaks, he always nails them. Very aggressive, maybe sometimes too much. I mean, he's he's just found so much impact in the last two rounds. He got the opener that propelled them into the uh, the fake B play back to A, and then that one there. Kill to equalize on B, oh, and then closes it. Oh, close. Kicksan also forced to be reckoned with right now. Yeah. Not just calling the shots, but... Uh-oh. Taking charge of the round in a more literal sense right here for Heroic. Yeah, just sneaking in. Tessas gets that one for free, and that's the path carved out for the B play drop. Wrestling with Shush over in mid just about gets away with it, but Kicksand still lies in wait on the other side of Red Room. 
when are you clearing this? I mean, how you're just thinking, how could he hit that timing? He's just appeared out of nowhere, and Kickson's now hunting the save. He's heard them step. They do check it. Oh, will that tempt them? They have kits, but yeah, they don't like what they see. Still too far away, they feel. You can feel how Heroic have really taken the reins of this game, though, right? Like, they went, they went for A plays in the first, like, five rounds of this game. Oh, oh, guys, I flashed you on B, I'm so sorry, I had to run. I flashed you on B. I like the end. I flashed you on B, I'm so sorry. You won the round, man, it's all forgiven. Oh, that's brutal, you wow. tell to open up. Tessa's on the receiving end of it, that and the spam. Waro also got out looking worse for wear, he wanted to try his hand at the fast cave fight again. Surely nerds can't get away. There's no way. Two kills. One, maybe. One, if we're being nice. It's this ongoing battle, him, V, and Sani. Yeah. For the mid control. Do they know? Oh, now they do. Easy. 5v3 taken by MIBR. Heroic. They've got money. They can give this a go. But they're going to need a clean hit into this B site. Shush now, tasked with something massive again. He really is having trouble these last couple of rounds. Kicks and spams safe out, but it's still a 2v4. Oh, the jump, up. jump up, yeah. It's risky for exit. I think him being a little unconfident yeah. has actually just saved his life there. For the best. He's locking them in as well. Hero, like, uh, uh, only saving out of necessity, you know? Waro can drop some guns. They can get a very healthy buy. It's, yeah, having a bit of a roughy. Two rounds of difference. A overtime potential for MIBR. Spam is... What? That was well-timed, but... I think it was Nerd who ducked below his shot, and the traces allow Waro to track and take down the star player of MIBR. Will this be the last round of Ancient? Oh, you feel a, a lot of the pressure subsides when Insani's gone from the server. He's relegated to watching on at 23 kills deep. He's got to hope that the rest of MIBR can keep them in this, but it's not looking good. Now Waro Warp fires off for a second, and Nurt's even hunting all Ooh. the way through Donut. He wants this one over and done, done with. He it, wants yeah. it finished now. And with Breno dead, drop far removed, save, he was going to go save mate. The game's about to end. <laughs> Heroic, turn it around from a 1-6 start. They close MIBR's map pick, and they do it cleanly with Kicksan, Tessez, and Nerds storming the board. See if he can reset here. Julie's up close on exit. Oh, this could be fun. Shush the exit. Time to set the stage. The struggle bus. Driving off. Nerds dinked in middle. Just ready to strike. Oh my god. Safe has just destroyed them in this pistol. Even one ramp. And he was the one oh, who dinked on Nerds. He's finished the job. Safe is on for the ace. And it's just kicks and left. Get it. I mean, at this point, you've been firing homing bullets. Every single shot connects for Safe. He goes oh. looking for the magic number five and can't quite find it. But he does what he had to do in that pistol there to get MIBR off to a good start. All right. That just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Just do Something that we've seen and that was echoed by the folks over on the desk is T-side is where Heroic should hope to do their best work. Okay. So you want them on the board earlier rather than later here. How in the middle they go. And MIBR are willing to meet them there, throwing themselves out into these Love fights that. in middle. And Sani gets out with a double Please. as he's getting hounded down by Tessez. Ooh. That is really well done from the front runner for MIBR. And so heroic, they, they get the mid control they were looking for. But it's a path paved in blood here. Kicksand tries Ooh. to tiptoe into B, but too many targets to Never worry saw. about there. And they didn't even spot that second man. Huge flank through the T spawn as well for Breno. So he's actually going to go back to A. Realizing that we're too B strong. I don't need to reclaim middle. 40 seconds. We're going to hear him eventually, and they have now. 
knowing exactly where he's gotten off to. Brano here to stop the plant if it's going to be open. Tessas could stick for CT. That's his only option available. He's going to try and gamble with it, but Breno pushing him down already, getting up the plant and not getting back to safety too quickly. Breno hits that quick shot and puts MIBR in pole position on this CT side. 3-0 up. Why can't they want to try and go B? And Brennan will get that spot, but he's got a high tail out of there. Drop full blind. Run out by the Tech Nine. It kicks out. Brennan's got to reel them in. Got to try and take back oh, no. some control oh, of the B no. side, but he's getting wrapped. They're all around him, and he can only take out one. That's not good. That is not good at all for the two on B. They had as much warning as you're going to get with a B rush. They got the pre smoke down. And just ugly as the Tech Nines find the two headshots into this B-bomb site and Heroic just tuck in. And Warrior 2K gets to bring out that AWP as well. Post with the early on over in middle. Oh, Double aggression. Armor. I think they heard the steps and they ran quite far. Kickson's in the corner. Even though they'll clear it, he is hyper aware. Oh, double up. Nerds trades. He came back to support. Heroic knew it was coming. The boost is nice, but they ran too long. It's a heroic four on three. They try to get up catwalk maybe a little bit too early. There was no bomb control either. They're lurking at ramp. This is a disaster. Four on three, and suddenly they lose all control, and they have to reset from the B side to get that bomb. Heroic have nothing to show for that double entry. But it seems like he's hunting on this A site instead. They're just going to split. Hope Warwick can sell this fake. You see the open CT and not ready for a B hit. Oh, missed timing. Doesn't clear the corner. And that's misinfo sure. But it, I don't think it's going to make drop rotate with 20 seconds. He's still tucked in behind the bench. Nerds won't clear this ever. 15 seconds. This is MIBR. Surely 4 1 up. Ah, uh, that's the smoke blowing Perfect, open. Yeah. Well handled for drop. Doesn't even let that bomb plant come in. Saves in trouble, breaks the smoke, doesn't quite catch him. Oh, and they find Insani slipped out under again. Nerds, another double entry. Just a classic head-to-head. -head. Nerds versus Insani in these uh, these mid-battles. See ya. Different maps, same fights. Huge round for Nerds to open up. And all right, Heroic, look, they kind of oh. threw the last one away, oh. but they would have to really ah. try this time. And hey, what's stopping them? <laughs> oh, jump scare for Warrior 2K. And he let him smoke him off, so now he can't even help. Can't even stop this A side. And Nurse not missing a beat. Four beautiful headshots in that round. Double entry, backstab, and stops the save. Can't really ask for more. <laughs> it actually was the jump scare. Oh no, nerds, don't do it. Coming for the mid fights again. This time they set their eyes on taking away the short control and now uh -oh. they're gonna start walking uh -oh. the smoke. Awkward timing for Insani. He tries to get involved, tries to play his hand, but they're coming right through the con smoke as he needs it open. Safe is boxed in as well. They've taken ladder away. They've taken the top of connector and jungle. So he doesn't know where to look right now. And that plant's going to be allowed to come through. Waro plugs in the numbers. While oh, the rest of Heroic stand on guard. His exit standing on business though. Out through ramp. Ooh. Well, deal with Shush. You don't imagine that's enough to tempt you in. You just don't really have the... The, the, the ground here to make this retake happen if you're MIBR. I mean, yeah, they're not in position, but even if they were, Warriors in the perfect spot with the orb to win the round. No, it's trying to stop the save. It's close. Ooh. Oh, Tessez. That's dirt. 
And Heroic are just going for the throat right now, despite this lead for MIBR. Quickly closing up, as it did on Ancient. I mean, especially now that he's been smoked, right? Like, yeah. you don't want to pull him out of position now. It's like he's kind of missed those early timings. So you're going to wait for that smoke to fade and to see if he can find the contact. Nerds will open up, though. Deals with one of those players from the lower tunnels. Not will really he two. discount Insani being here? The flash, flash over mid tees him up nicely. Um, with this con smoke, it's, it might force Exit to even peak stairs. That's what Waro wants right now. He gets exactly that over the top. Waro's dropped two. That's more like it. 2k in the name and the game now in a four on one are heroic. And heroic play by his rule book for this round at least. Heroic take the lead. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that's. You always want your author to be very vocal and tell you what they intend to do. You kind of want them calling their plays and what they're comfortable with. With him being a stand-in, you were wondering if that would be the case, right? Or if they wanna, would wield him more yeah. to how Kicksand designs it. But it feels like, you know, they're, they're willing to kind of... Was that a purposeful miss? I think they've naded it, actually. I think they missed the molly, then they naded him. Because he stayed in the position. Oh, Waro's found him. Peeking over the stairs. That probably feels good for Waro. Yeah, he was on the receiving up. end of those all across Ancient. Ooh. Exit. He will, from the round. Just Insani in the sight, he needs to save him. I mean, there's no doubt how good this guy is, but you're asking nice. a hell of a lot. He boy, buy, buys time, boys time, for the rotate. Kind of went yep. Irish almost. We're right back in, 3v2 with Insani. Having slowed down the take of the site, having thinned the herd. Is Nerds. that going to be enough to bring MIBR back in? He's got to deal with a very familiar antagonist here in Nerds. Oh. Quick work made of Insani. Looking to deliver in the clutch. This 1v2, oh. but he can't walk it over the line. Brenner will be there to put a stop to him. They needed that, man. They needed anything. This game was absolutely sliding out of control. Kicksand's also taken an AWP here over towards the B site. And I almost want him to just be firing off a bit. Ooh. Trying to give the illusion that that's where Waro is on that orb. Waro's instead posted over here at A, hoping he gets given another one of these stairs peaks. There it is. Double up for safe. He's finally found his footing on the AWP. And there's the peak that Waro was waiting for. He gets dinked. That's a sick shot from Insani, but it's not enough for the kill, and they could come to regret the swing. Drop gone from middle. Three on three now. They molly him out for the time being. That bomb is going to be allowed to get planted. There's nothing MIBR can do about that, but they've been teed up for this the whole time. They, they had faith in their ability to retake three on three. three. And as the orb strikes... Safe locks in his third kill in the round. Can he find number four? Oh, Safe oh. is on for the ace. Took a while for that orb to get rolling, but now it rolls over Heroic to close out this first half on an even six all score. And this is boost up for Kicksand. Tessa is trying to put him in position to succeed. Kicksan hears them get by, but he's already fired off. They know about the boost now. Tessez holds the line with a convincing double. Waro even manages to make it over, but caught looking away. And it's safe to find him. So it's been alive. instrumental across this second map, but specifically in the pistols. That kill tips the scale in MIBR's favor. That moves all the way up to bench. Wait, they both had their back oh turned. He doesn't God. quite believe it, but the shot sailed past them. And so he's never to punish. Shush Whittle down, and Nerds might have to do the heavy lifting, and he can't find a thing. A pistol round secured for MIBR as they take both of them here on Mirage. Safe might be on a joystick, because without him, they wouldn't be flying to victory like they are. Seven to six now. Because you're having to rotate out of lower, going. you're going to be left very far removed from this B site. Waro gets there in time on the scout to try tag players crossing, but right now you're looking at Tessez on this deagle, the one player inside the site. He had to make a difference and he couldn't find a thing. Waro 2k on the Go scout. On. 
He's made it more interesting, that much is for certain. But the SMGs go no further. Round still alive. And with just Nerds left standing, you almost are ready to cut to the player cams on this one. MIBR gonna brush aside these SMGs. Ooh. Unless... Do they run? No. Unless Nerds... Uh, not ready for yeah. sure. Has to flick back and that's never gonna happen. So there we are. Now we get the insidey shot. MIBR, two in a row. And the four spy locked out. So they're about to find themselves with nine. They're about to just go for the all-in A play. And, uh, and the, the one defender is Shish, who's been having a, a very rough go at it all day. You need him to hold the line here. That's not a bad way to open. One quick kill going the way of Shush. Waro now moves nice. in to lend a helping hand. And quick work made of the players as they get out through ramp. Shush still desperately clinging on for dear life here. Ow. But he's living on borrowed time, surely. Trapped out behind triple, smoked down to give the illusion that he could have crossed out into CT, but he still stands tall there fighting. Leaves it all on safe. I would like this, but he's already got a kill, so they know he's here. Oh, they just jump up and clear it. Nice check for Kixon. And solid work for Shush, to be honest. He, tu he tucks in. <laughs> the handshake matter. They're getting great with it, aren't they? I bet he just has, like, the tightest grip ever. They're going to regret it even more. <laughs> Go back to slapping my hand. All right, oh, B-Rush no. coming down the pipeline. Tess says... Ooh, nice overran shot. Overran after the first. Molly in a bench, but Kickstand plays they jail. They can spam yeah. this. Yeah. It, it really narrows down where he can be, so that's nice and easy for drop. Waro's actually been fantastic on the rifles. He's going to try and offer up another multi-kill here as he peeks Ouch. out from the short side, but drop very cleanly done. So already you should be looking to save if you're heroic. Looking like it might just be another one of these set pieces over towards A. Shush just narrowly gets out alive. But even then, not a lick of damage done the other way, and you've completely lost control of the bomb site here. They have to get on nerds. So you can justify trying this round, but you need to get something to entice you soon. And with this lower lurk now getting learned about and connector getting stripped away from you, you're just out of position to even try this one. You could argue saving here. It's that bad. Like you're that locked out of this bomb site. There's no nades really to get you back in. And it's getting worse before it gets better. If War had a kit, maybe I'd be interested, but not in this world, not in this round. Drop hunts down, nerds. And every single player on this T side is having impact right now for MIBR. Heroic crumbling on their map pick. 11-7, Anubis rearing its head right now. Two rounds till we get there. So temporarily it was a 3v2 and you had a player trying to force those fights out through market and drop just deleted him. Instant B push for Kixon. Or oh, if he tucked here, it'd be potent, but he's going to walk right into them as they clear the corner. Another entry onto this B bomb site for drop. And MIBR roll out that bloody red carpet. Five on three. Anubis is calling, and Nerds cannot stop it. You can hear MIBR chanting already. Fire four on one. And Heroic have been iced out. Left in the cooler. Boom, boom. Feel good moment for MIBR. Outdoing the opening map, taking a more dominant victory on Heroic's map pick. One that MIBR have really struggled on, even domestically here. So this is a, a massive confidence boost heading into that third and final map of the series. Anubis is where this one will be decided. No doubt about it, we go to a third heroic winning the knife, picking the T side, of course, on Anubis. This is a map they've barely played, whereas for MIBR, it's one they play 17 times the last three months and 17 times in the three months before that. They've got the track record, they got the tape, and they're going quick into the A side. Oh, safe. Up first there, swinging on out from behind the fountain, had support every step of the way. And so heroic's attempt to kind of Flat rush their way through the A-holders, not panned out, and now everyone from MIBR is over on this side of the map. 
Wara alone out in middle, sure, gets away with one, but they don't have to face him anymore. They can just play the numbers on this. Wara 2K and Nerds trying to pick up the pieces in this pistol round. But they are worlds apart, and they've got a lot of MIBR players left to get through after a well-founded stack inside of this A site. Looks to net MIBR another pistol. Oh, knife out, careful, don't throw. Breno saves it. That was a little bit dicey, but MIBR are coming in confident. Taking guesses now. Something in middle? Something in con. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. All right. Inside oh, con of smoke con. in through the roof. Alrighty, out they go, exploding. Breno gets one, breaking the smoke is in Sani, and just like that, the round is over. Consolation bomb part for a couple of hundred bucks. Ooh, oh, is it more than that? Shush gets one, but yeah, can't even get the mag back in. This could go very wrong. Two SMGs at range. How the hell do you stop this? I, this is this is perfect. I would call this round heroics now. Let's see. Safe dead early exit, trying to withstand. Ooh. Getting out with a double there Solid. is so well done. There's, there's no world where that should be happening. A quick 180 at least keeps MIBR in this one. And the smokes are perfect. Post part smokes. Mm. Good you've luck. Done a lot with a little here oh. if you're heroic. But you still have to get it over the line. Good nade up in heaven. Smoke dropped in for Warrior to play behind just to give himself a tiny bit more room because he is trapped in the side. Kicks out, has to flick back up into the heavens and he can't manage it. What a weird adjustment. Warrior just like looks down at the ground for a second. Maybe he heard like a pin. He thought he was getting flashed, but looks away and they swing him. I almost would have liked a more passive post plant, right? Play towards main and pillar, maybe even hide in the smoke. MIBR getting these very difficult T side CT side rounds on early. Oh, what on earth? You didn't even see him. He was gone. The orb removed just like that. By Galil. Again, they creep middle because Drop has just been early rotating this position. Heroic have already abused this gap again. Nice trade out in con. As we said, middle corrupted leaves just exit in that A site. They just contact the whole way. Oh, the Molly's well timed just to buy a few more seconds for these rotates to come in, but no one from Dark is moving right now. Those two players down towards Con side, they've not budged. And so exit had to get more done there. A lot of damage, sure, but not dealing the killing blow and everyone else for MIBR being out of position kind of puts a stop to this round here and now. Oh look, Brenzen's done in the AWP. Rolling back the years, nice entry. All right, Breno, let's see what he's got up his sleeve. That's a quick oh. shot indeed, but it's cancelled out by Tessas. Drops in with the backstab this time, getting active out through middle, and Heroic don't seem aware of this. They just Cigar. turn around now. Nerds caught with nade out. That one's free. Drop oh. can't go any further. Morrow will keep Heroic in the driver's seat. So that second round looking to come through after all. Bit of a skirmish. Once those soaks start to fade, you're going to have to get a move on. But I like this position from Insani. I think this is one that's strong when you've taken this much control over towards water because he can kind of pick and choose his battles a little bit there. Tries to go back to keep an eye on rugs, but right as he was about to get that info, he's flashed off the angle and Tess says actually drops on down to him. Heard him. Nice peak for drop. A lot more aggressive in these last couple of rounds, like you mentioned. Exit even wins his A main fight, tries to double up in front of the Molotov, kicks him will not let it happen, almost burns himself out. Three on three, kicks and needs to be traded there, but War is just a little bit too late to the party. And Drops managed to get back to safety in heaven, locked in a cage of fire right now. Drop will decide to swing in, it's safe with a shot, and Breno spams the smoke on the site. MIBR, an important gun round on the CT side. I'm liking what MIBR are bringing to the table here. 
And on top of that, on the CT side, every round feels so valuable. And so the fact that you have Heroic in this vulnerable position, where if you win this next one, suddenly you start streaking a bunch of rounds together on the back of it, that's a great spot for MIBR to be in, but that is not the start they wanted Unlucky. in the round that could have broken Heroic's money. They lose drop early on. Yeah, they three walked middle Heroic, so they were holding it all right, waiting on that smoke push. Feels extremely unlikely. So forget about B. Try and stop this A attack. Tessa's coming through first, trying to entry up. Safe has stopped a portion of the A main hold. A nade out saved by Tessa's on the entry. Oh dear, disastrous missed shot for Safe. He needed that as War returns back and drops the point man. Safe might have to escape. He had one shot, he had to hit. And without it, Heroic are on to four. I mean, this AWP is the big ticket item, and there's no guarantee it gets across in towards the spawn with Waro holding this. Right, Waro moved to go hunting with the AWP like this, but it works out. And so that was like, that was the big item, the one that you really wanted to hold on to. You're left with the stocking fillers here if you're MIBR. What's your favorite stocking filler, Harry? Ooh, and a mid push off of spawn flashed immediately. Oh, Sani. And he's going to go one step further. Full blind from his teammate's flash has not stopped him in the slightest. Double push. They are hunting the opponent, and Heroic don't even know it. Shush. Yeah, mid clear. Bad news for you, buddy. They are in your spawn already. Breno gets that kill. They don't even know about it, Sani. And Heroic stuck in A main, realizing if their back is corrupted... What lies ahead will not be much better. I mean, you say that. It MIBR is. went and really cleared out B. And so they took a lot of extra time doing that, which means it's not like they're padding out the A site in response to the info they've got. They're still adjusting. Right now, there is a timing for Heroic where they've got a 3v2 inside of this oh, A site no, and they deal with no, both no. of them. Those rotates only just arrive. Hard fought battle to take the early advantages here for MIBR, but it might not be enough to get them the round. Kixan and Tessa is left up in this. The bomb is trapped back in main. Clean shot from Tessez. Needs better marksmanship there on the second. It's Insani they're up against. The nade will bring him down low, and it buys time for that bomb to get in, but they want to face him. They cross Tessez out. Interesting. There's been a lot of effort to kind of regain and like jostle for the positioning here for Heroic. They're going to play it back in the main to play around the bomb. And now they've been given a little window, a bit of time to reposition. This is great timing. Tessus hasn't turned. This might be a free kill to Spur and Sani on. He needs to go for it right now. Good clear. Checks Tessus. No kit. He's on the clock. He's got to just get that smoke 10 second stick. I don't think this is a realistic round for Insani without the diffuser on him. Taps that bomb. Kicks in in no hurry. Counts 3 2 1 and it's done. It's going to be a heroic round, however you slice it. Nice kills. Nice try. But not today. Uh, for me, the exit jump through the smoke into the site in a, in a 5v3, that's crazy. So it's like the, the timing didn't align up with the vision with how they wanted that to go. And after Ooh. such a great start to the round, it, it's very bitter to have it taken away like that. Drop will get some form of revenge here, an opening over in middle, but with just these two guns out for MIBR. Don't want to be giving away 1v1s when there are only two rifles in play right now. Try and find these pistols if you can. Uh-oh. Kicks and controls it. Two health. Drop. Forcing it in middle. Nice try, but Shush gets a must-win kill to keep this round under control. No default molly. Missed smoke, but Nerds had already walked in. It's kind of a cool smoke if it covered all the stairs. Just saving that AK for Insani. Seems to be the port of call. Cool, safe looks for an upgrade. 
ultimately, MIBR is not a bad game. You know, leaving with four on a CT side is nothing to be ashamed of. But given how this started, you know they want just that little bit more. Taste of victory to end the half as Heroic start to piece their T side together. At bare minimum, you, you've kept it expensive, right? And so if you're MIBR, you still have that way in at the end. You still have that kind of opportunity where you can cash strap Heroic heading into the last of the half if you find some success soon. It's not like they're going to be fully broke, but you can certainly limit what they can bring to the table. It's a bit of a trick. Two players set up, waiting. Tessas has had a, a solid series. A lot of opening kills. Not this one. Drop gets his. Waro overwhelmed. His team fall around him. This seems like a cozy place but, to save. Dude, I mean, this was, you know, we, we touched on the economy. You, you save this AK out of the round, you're going to have money on Waro 2K, but that's, that's really it. That's your successes, and you don't even get out with the AK now. So you look at this last round of the half, Heroic are bringing next to nothing into it. None of these crazy celebrations yet. I like what we've seen on the other maps. It's a far more focused MIBR as we rage oh, on to the dear. third. Safe's holding for the boost up. And Waro plays right into his hands. Nice read for save. You've seen that a couple of times. Waro didn't even have the orb this time. It's an easy entry for MIBR. Tessas with a pixel gap can see through it. Oh, please fix. Or maybe that's just how doors work, I guess. There is a little gap. There that's is how they open. That is true. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a wall. Ooh, shush. Oh, shush! That's his best round of the whole series right there. It might be the one that really matters. It's looking to carve out this T-side after all for Heroic. They encounter that safe orb again, but Shush has delivered them Come on, a golden oh, opportunity no, only for Drop to take it all away. Oh. Bomb now out in the open and oh, for Kicksand, no. that is a big problem. He's got just under a minute to solve this problem. Really? Bomb in the sight lines of that AWP and so this reposition might be to try and deal with that eventuality. He might go looking for the AWP first. Because if he can knock safe out of the round, suddenly it's him versus drop, and that's oh. a fight he feels like he can take. Gets past the AWP. Bomb still down here, just under the window, and they are both ready to swing this. Kicksand, they will not make this easy for him. They will not go quietly out of this first half. And as he drops on in, it's into the AWP, tied up again as MIBR put up two to close out this first half. Fielding a stand-in for Dexter. It is, of course, Waro 2K, the Orb Sensation X Monty player, versus MIBR, who have made a change, rolls, moves, and drop, taking over the in-game leader. He's looked pretty good on this T side. Here's the true test at the end of the series. Well, drop through, drop on drop right there as he's opened up the pistol round exit. Also coming in with a backstab out towards A and all across the board. It's all coming up in favor of MIBR. Just nerds and kicks and left standard. And sure, they're over here towards the B side, but that bomb is up and left after those kills on the A aggression. MIBR don't take the chance and they leave these two players iced out. Getting tickled here. Feather fingers. Oh. And it's Sani and Breno, the two who started this series with a phenomenal game. Uh oh. Heroic maintain this lean over towards the B side. Tech 9 down in the lower. Doesn't pan out for Tessez. Warro 2K, a Deagle, and a Dream. Well, lock in that first kill, but no more for Warro. Backstab now coming through for Nerds as he gets aggressive through the midline. That's the bomb at the back of the Ouch. pack, and Insani just comes in and saves the day. Woo. That's the one gun stripped from the round. Nerds falls, and Shush is finished off. The conversions all come through for MIBR. Insani really is. like He lives up to the name, dude. This guy, when he's on, is an absolute monster. Heroic might not ever have the room to, to really get to that point. Oh. And so to stop these these all-in aggro moves, to stop like these grouped five-man hits, you're going to need some some synergy between the players, and that's kind of what you were always going to be lacking here with Waro standing in. 
Just a mental self-flash for Insani. Just pops it middle as War is getting aggressive. He wanted to peek, I presume, the window to stairs with his deep smoke, but Insani gets there before the smoke blooms. In the open, Tess says, no way he's surviving that. He'll take one and a half with him. I mean, there was nowhere where Heroic are sitting pretty. This is their best bet with now Shush back in the site. Lineup is good. Again, only one. It's the low HP player. Kicks in back of the site, needs everything. Yeah, he's got to put up a multi-kill. He does have Nerds having rotated he's over, so but sharp. there's nothing done. Barely a dent made from Kixan. And so with Nerds mollied off, arriving late to the party here in the 1v3, the fact he's even looking for this is wild. Spam connects onto Breno. Kit in the pocket, right side, yeah. and yeah, he can molly safe out Big. now, so that's going to be a chance of this fight. You're going to get one chance to find it. Flash in, the setup safe, but it actually <laughs> blinds him. It was an attempt at team play there, yeah, but this it. might give yeah. Nerds the He's ultimate leg up. He's got just too far oh, away. Dear. He was nowhere near. Oh, that's a disaster for MIBR. They've been playing. I feel like Exit should have been moving like a lot sooner yeah. in that moment. That's, um, that's an ugly round. They were just starting to crumble. MIBR hitting some really nice shots in this game. Some really crisp entries in that round. In middle and in B. Come on, Shush. Looking for something. Back turn. Oh, dear. Yes, he gets it. Nerds as well. Shooting drop through the smoke. I think he tried to walk through. Something materializing in this round for Heroic. Maybe there's hope, Harry. For Heroic. Oh, this is not good for Breno. <laughs> not good for Breno at all. I pass each other, and now he's heard him throwing the util. That's easy for nerds. Nice fake. But they are done. They may feel, they may be scared, eh, to be honest. I mean, nerds can even drop down and, and harass on the backstab. You should wait until they know. But nerds doesn't like to wait. And that's why he should have. I mean, you'd like to think that's not the end of the world, but... You would. But... Tessez is a little wounded. There's still good util here for MIBR, and right now they've got themselves a 2-1-2. Two -two. The backstab as well is coming in from Shush, who's even lower than Tessez. So a couple of well-placed shots here could get MIBR in, and they oh, will place no. them well. And Sani goes looking nice for spot. Tessez, but he didn't see it. Oh, didn't spot him, <laughs> fakes the plot, and calls his bluff. He brings Tessez out. From under the cover of that smoke, Insani gets him in the open, and now it's just Waro 2K. You saw Nerds offer up a 1v3 clutch in the round prior. Now Waro's going to try his hand. First kill connects, exit. He Been let here. them down in that last round. He was too far away, this oh, time probably. playing up close. But full util for Waro 2K. No kit, the bomb's already almost there. He needs to get on it. Checking the site, looking for anything take to his advantage, but exit this time, right place, right time, and puts a stop to the clutch from Waro. Yeah, Nerds dropping down in the 5v2 doesn't feel too consequential, does it, until you absolutely bottle the round. And put us back to our winning ways, and now that's broken Heroic's money. They are all in, and if they fall short here, match and series point to MIBR with nothing in the follow-up round yeah. for this heroic squad. Might not just be their money that's broken. Multiple flashes on this B push with a deep smoke to layer up, but Breno can play behind it or in front. He looks confident right now. Support spam coming in from afar. Tess is on the left side. Breno sneaks in, but he still hits the headshot. Fantastic shooting from MIBR all game long. Got a player locked in jail. Barred. In cuffs. And sentenced to death. This B site comes crumbling down. And it's also, it's like the opposite of the exit winning the 1v1. Nurse just 1v3'd. Of course he's going for it. Mm. Of course he's feeling good. 
and then he is the first domino to fall when oh. they knew what was going on. This is a brutal game of don't lose the AWP. Oh, and they're about to lose the AWP. I think they've lost the game, Harry. Moro, if this goes, everything goes. There's nothing left for Heroic. Oh, he's dead. And they're getting closer with each missed shot. Everyone is hounded down. Nothing left for Heroic up against MIBR's series point. Their Mirage T side was a beautiful game. They did not even go out middle on the T side of Mirage, and they went 7 1 on the T half to close that map. And now they're doing it again on Anubis. Nice double up in middle for Kixon. But is that just stemming the bleeding? And I don't think any bone in your body's telling you that they're going to have gone all the way around for the heaven wrap. You, this I guess you crazy. have to consider it because you've it's given crazy. up middle, but Look at it. it's so unorthodox. This is more out of the box thinking from MIBR. Oh, they saw him. They, they know see Moro, there. and they hear the Molly tag on oh, main. Shush. They just saw Shush, and Say finally reacts to that info. Oh, oh, the A hold God. crumbles before their very eyes, and for heroic, it's just Tesses and Nerds left to keep Anubis going. One swing too far, one kill too hungry. And it looks to have given it all up for Heroic. Tessez tries to get the ball rolling out through camera and he's shut down, just nerds left and he'll get finished off, no problem. MIBR with drop debuting as the leader, look legit as they take down Heroic 2-1.